This is the Brooklyn Daily Eagle. The Jehovah's Witnesses will start moving out of Brooklyn Heights headquarters in September. Change is coming to Brooklyn Heights. Watchtower workers are about to start moving out of their iconic headquarters where their organization's name has been glowing in red neon light for almost a half century. The Jehovah's Witnesses just sold their headquarters complex at 2530 Columbia Heights for $340 million to a joint venture that includes a company headed by Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. The buyers are a joint venture of Kushner Companies, CIM Group, and LIVWRK. A spokesman for the Watchtower told the Brooklyn Eagle that personnel at the Brooklyn Heights headquarters will start moving out of the complex in earnest in September. The move out will continue department by department through the early months of next year, he said. The religious group is heading to upstate Warwick, New York, or it has constructed a new headquarters facility. It has spent the past several years liquidating its enormous portfolio of Brooklyn Heights and Dumbo properties to prepare for the move. In an announcement Friday, the Watchtower called the sale of its Brooklyn Heights complex one of its most significant steps in the relocation of its world headquarters. The headquarters sale marks the end of an era for Brooklyn Heights, where the Jehovah's Witnesses have had a presence for a century. And remember, Jesus was invisibly there too. They had owned the headquarters building since 1969. A Watchtower spokesman, David Simonian, said in the announcement, 2530 Columbia Heights will always be part of our legacy as well as the rich history of Brooklyn. The just sold headquarters complex is approximately 734,000 rounded up gross square feet in size and covers nearly two city blocks. It includes three other connected buildings, 50 and 58 Columbia Heights and 55 Furman Street. They all predate the Brooklyn Bridge, the Watchtower announcement noted. Another Jehovah's Witness spokesman, Richard Devine, recalled why the organization had purchased the headquarters buildings from pharmaceutical giant ER Squibb and Sons. We needed more space to accommodate our rapidly expanding operations and we wanted to consolidate our offices, which at the time were scattered among several buildings in Brooklyn, he said. So that's it for this building. The Jehovah's Witnesses are out. And the Watchtower sign shall be removed. Their main advertisement for their magazine, which has published over a century of heretical literature.